beloved. This is Linda Rose Spirit Song. Now I am putting out an update to let you all know. I'm sure you're wondering where is the Father Heart of God? Where's the live stream reminder? Well some things have taken place today as a result of prayer. Some things I have been contemplating for some time I really believe some things that the Holy Spirit has been revealing to me, and I received a confirmation today about it. Last, it was two weeks ago, was the last Father Heart of God live stream that we did, and there was a lot of ministry going on and healing, and we were going into the back of the book that had to do with the, the study guide. We did chapter one and two, but the Holy Spirit has revealed that the Father Heart of God series is pretty much concluded with the last one that, that was done two weeks ago. And those of you who still have, the, those of you who have, who purchased the book, I would encourage you to continue on with the study on your own before the Father and asking the Holy Spirit to reveal things to you, to do a deep work of inner healing and bring you to the Father Heart, to his to the Father's Heart. Because he was showing me and he was revealing to me that, you know, it's unless the Holy Spirit draws us, we're not going to come to Yeshua. But we, when the Holy Spirit brings us to Messiah and we receive his forgiveness, we repent and turn away from our, our sinful ways and allow him to give us and, and, and exercise and affirm the power that we have through his shed blood to uh, keep to death our fallen sinful nature. Now, when we come to Messiah, it doesn't stop there. Yeshua brings us to the Father, because it says there is only one way to the Father, and that is through the Son. So many of us have that relationship with Yeshua, with the Son, but we haven't gone as far as that because of our estranged fathers, our relationships, our hurt and pain that we have experienced from, from our fathers that have not been healed, that we have not allowed healing to take place. We have not allowed forgiveness. And we don't trust. We think if we come to the Father, He's going to do the same thing that our earthly fathers have done. They may accept us for a time, and somehow He's going to reject us along the way. We don't want to take that chance because we have been so hurt. Beloved, you need to come to the Father. You need to heal. You need to seek forgiveness. You need to know that your Heavenly Father is nothing like your earthly father. None of them will ever measure up. I don't care how good your father was. None of them will ever measure up to the Father. He is our Abba Daddy. And throughout my life, he has proven himself over and over again to me of a wonderful father that he is. When my I, I had a fatherless father, and I explained that, that, that in the Father Heart of God series. I'm going to put the link... In the description below this update that's going to uh, be uh, the playlist of the Father Heart of God live streams that have been done that have been recorded there are seven of them I would encourage you that if you don't have the book I would order the book and you can go over these recordings and go through the book with us and I'm telling you, your life will not be the same. It really will not. And as I said, the, we don't need to just stop with Yeshua. We need to go to the Father because Yeshua wants to bring us to the Father. Because that's where they missed it. The scribes and the Pharisees, they did not know the Father. That's why they, they, they did not know their time of visitation. Because they didn't know the Father. And just like many of you out there, and he's shown me this when it comes to the believers... Many of the believers are not going to know their time of visitation because they think that they're just looking at him as the suffering servant and don't see him as one who's going to execute vengeance. And he will slay the wicked. I don't care what you think. 
Yeah, they're, they're, you don't know the Father's nature. You don't know the nature of Yeshua. He told us he's coming as a suffering servant, but he also told us he's going to come as the conquering king. And that the vengeance and the wrath that is going to be executed, he said the blood is going to be up to the bridal's reins. So you don't know Yeshua if you only know just one part of him. Ask him to reveal all that he is so you're not deceived. So I would encourage you to click the link and check out these videos. Start with part, part one. They are really, really powerful and they're very anointed. And uh, for those of you who don't have that kind of relationship with the Father that you need, if there's ever time you need to have that relationship with Abba Daddy, it is now. It is now. Is this, is that if you don't know the Father, you won't know the Son. If you don't know the Son, you won't know the Father. It's like what I shared before about the, you can't have the Song of Moses without the Song of the Lamb and vice versa. You cannot have Yeshua without the Father or the Father without the Shua and without the Holy Spirit. They go together. You cannot separate them. So if you have that relationship with the Holy Spirit and Yeshua and not with the Father, it's time you, you come to know Abba Daddy. It's time you ask that Yeshua to introduce you to the Father and to restore your relationship with Him and ask Him to do the healing that is needed that you have not had and was missing in your relationship with your earthly Father. I would encourage you because the time is very, very short and this is very important. So I just want to let you all know, I know I probably look tired. That's because I am. <laughs> There's been a lot of spiritual warfare going on, but I do want to give you a heads up about that. Even though outwardly I look exhausted and uh, I've only gotten a few hours sleep trying to put this video up. It, two, two times that I tried putting it up, it took hours and then I get this error message. So it, it did not go through twice on my laptop. So I did it again and it finally succeeded as it was getting like close to three in the morning. I said, Father, please push this one through. I know you can do it. I know you put this on my heart. I know you moved upon me and give, gave me this word and gave me these nuggets of truth that you want me to share with your people. And as I was dozing off and I lifted my head up, it was about 3.05 and it finished up and there it was. It was complete. So I was like, okay, now I can go to bed. And then I got up at six, whatever in the morning. So, I've, and then some battles have been going on. <laughs> and even in the midst of that, beloved, even in the midst of the spiritual battles, even though outwardly we're wasting away and we look tired and we look worn out, I want you to know my spirit, it is well with my soul. I want you to know that his peace is so rock solid in my life, even with all these things that are going on around me. It just encourages me. My love for him is just growing more and more and increasing and abounding. And it's been worth the cost of what I had to go through for all the years I've been walking with him to come into that relationship that I so desire that you come into as well. Come to know Papa. Come to know your daddy, your father. Yeshua already told us about the father when he walked on this earth. So isn't it high time that you come to know him? as well. And we think when we come to salvation that we know the Father. No. The Holy Spirit brings us to Yeshua and Yeshua brings us to the Father. So many of you have not made that trip yet. And I think it's time that you you make that journey. Journey to the Father's heart. I love you all. I'm praying for you. And I want you to know I can tell you with all assurance based on my own life, when my own mother and father rejected me, the father had taken me up. He's taken good care of me and he will do the same for you. He loves you so much more than I. And so does his son Yeshua love you, loves you more than I. And until we come together again, before I bid you shalom, I do want to let you know tomorrow I'll be putting an update. Um, yeah, and tomorrow I'm doing a recording of a testimony, but we won't be airing it till 3 p.m. on Monday. So be looking out for that. There's a lot of things going on. Um, so with that said, I bid you all Shabbat 
Shalom.
Yeah.